Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sydney here. Sorry, I went a little MIA. I think I had a little makeup blues or something. So in order to make that up, I bought makeup. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I bought basically a new palette, which is the Koki Cosmetics Pure Magic um, palette. It's so pretty. It has a bunch of greens and deep blues in it. And my eye is going straight into these greens. So little boring old me is going to um, work with green today. Nervous, ex I'm nervous, I'm excited. Yeah, so let's see how this goes. So obviously I have my base on, my eyebrows are done. I'm going to go into concealer just to prime my eyes. And... Almost forgot I'm gonna place some powder down so that if there is any fallout it won't, won't ruin the base. Okay, like I said, I'm gonna work with the greens, so I think I'm gonna grab the color ritual, which is right there in the center. I'm gonna grab a big dense blending brush it does have some kickback i don't know if you can see or not which honestly doesn't bother me for the most part usually when it says it has kickback usually when usually when it does have kickback it means it's pigmented so i'm not mad at that i'm not mad at that so i'm just going to go oops down the crease already i'm going to transition Pack that in. Okay. I was a little worried it wasn't going to pick up on my skin tone, but I'm glad it did. I'm going to Blend that out. We do not want any harsh edges. Okay. And I think I might go into Potion X, which is this really bright green. Let's see it or not. It's not as pigmented as I like it to be, but let's see what happens. So I'm going to take the same brush. Actually, nope, a different brush. A bit more fluffy. Pick that up. This one doesn't have as much kickback as the Ritual color. Okay. And I'm just going to go, and I'm just gonna go underneath that green. I mean, I'm just gonna go underneath that transition shade. And just apply it.
Okay, so I definitely spoke too soon. It's how to keep building it up in order for it to work like I want it to. I think also my fault as well, because usually I don't grab a fluffy brush in order to blend like really deep colors. Not deep color, but um, I usually don't grab fluffy brush. I usually don't grab fluffy blending brushes to pick up color, especially a bright color like green. So that is a mistake on my behalf. But now that I'm like five minutes into blending, it actually doesn't turn out, it doesn't look bad at all. Okay. I'm gonna blend out the edge a little bit of the green. I'm sorry. It seems like people just, when it's nice weather, they want to show out. Okay, so next, I'm going to, I'll drop my mirror. Okay, so next, I'm going to take this deep green, which is called Bewitch. I'm going to pick up this color, Bewitch, which is this really deep kind of bluish green color it's like a blue green color that's pretty yeah put that in my crease just to deepen it out actually no i'm not no i'm not i'm lying okay so when i basically bought makeup i also bought the koki crystal fusion um liquid eyeshadow and this one that i have is in ophelia so i think it might be a little bit creative i think <laughs> So, don't want to do that, don't want to do that. Okay, so let me actually bring the green down further on my lid. A little bit lower. Sorry, mirror blocking. Ugh, my station kind of looks a mess. I'm sorry. Let's over this side and this right here. I think I'm good. Okay. I'm going to try and sweep that on my lid. So I have the Koki Cosmetics Crystal Fusion um, Liquid Eyeshadow on the back of my hand. And once again, the shade is Ophelia. This is pretty glittery, shimmery green color. Forest green. Emerald green. I don't wear green, so only colors I know is emerald, forest, and olive. Right? Emerald, forest, olive yeah <laughs> so i'm just going to take a flat shader brush and apply this on my lid just going up a little bit let's take a brighter color
pretty green. Okay, before that dries, I'm going to take my finger and pick up the color Cast, the shade Cast, which is like this pretty olive green. And just quickly place this on my lid where I just place that green at. Okay, and I'll take a small brush and just pick up the same shade and just try to hit that inner corner. I can't really reach it. Okay, and I'm going to just go back just a little bit. Okay, and the idea I had, because I did want to use that Bewitch um, color, like the, the beach. So I did want to use the Bewitch shade, which is this dark forest green color. I think it's, I think it's a forest green, bluish. No, that's not forest green. It's like a bluish green color. So I'm gonna, pull, I'm gonna grab my eyeliner brush, which is a really um, very square flat brush, and I'm going to create a wing with it. Very dramatic, blown out wing. So I kind of just feel like the look is miss is missing some sort of depth, depth, depth. <laughs> so I just wanted to add this, and I was just watching Ellery's video. Um, I think she posted it yesterday if not yesterday she posted it Saturday where she created this look and she basically did her winged eyeliner like instead of it connecting to like the front to the um like the front to the back she landed it like halfway through on her eyelid so I'm gonna try to do that That wing looks a mess. I'm going to fix it um, when I sweep this powder off. The wing definitely looks a mess. That's embarrassing. <laughs> but I think that's it for the eyeshadow look. I might try and connect. Yeah, I'm gonna fix the wing, so just please bear with me. I know it looks a mess. Um, apply an inner corner highlights, which, oops. So the next thing to do, I'm gonna grab an inner corner highlight and I'm gonna pick up. Hmm. A lot of options in here. I could use Mystic. A part of me wants to use Unreal, but I don't know if that'd be too pink. What? Oh, it's pretty. Mm. Un Unreal is not as shimmery. This is Unreal right here, and this one is magical right here magical and unreal and 
Let's enchant. Enchant is like a pretty purple um, highlight. So I think I might just stick to Mystic and be basic today. So apply that to my inner corner. And I'm going to sweep the powder underneath my eyes so I can fix this messed up wing that I tried to give myself. And I'm sure you guys know if you ever mess up on a wing, on your winged eyeliner, you can easily just apply concealer to correct it. A little bit in the back of my hand. Yeah, that's good. I look so much better. I don't know what I was thinking about creating that wing. Like, I know better. Sydney, how dare you? Don't embarrass yourself. I'm just trying to tap in that concealer. I'm going to go back into that deep shade. I kind of took off most of the wing. I'm going to go back into that deep forest green shade and just fix it up a little bit and just elongate it just slightly. Okay. A part of me wants to... So a part of me wants to add that dark green shade into my crease. But I kind of like the simplicity of this look, but also being a little bit dramatic at the same time. So I think I might just leave it as is. I really like this look. And for me, this is really dramatic and very extra. Because I don't, to me, wearing color is wearing like pink. That's not, <laughs> that's the wearing color. I would say for me, wearing color is wearing um like pinks and purples and stuff. But that's also vibrant, so I don't know why green should be any different or, or or even blue should be any different. But it is. I'm a little punk. Don't sue me, okay? All right, so I'm going to finish my other eye off camera, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I'm back with um, the other eye done. I decided to put on lashes. I'm just like... I'll just do it instead of doing it on camera. I hate doing my lashes on camera because they take too long and I always mess up. So this was at least took like 30 minutes to do one eye and lashes. Okay, but in the meantime, I'm going to finish off my bottom lash line, which I think it might be a little spicy. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to take the same, um, actually, nope, it's something different. I'm going to take a small blending brush, like a small you know, like a small blending brush. I'm going to pick up the shade Potion again, that green color. I'm just going to apply that on my bottom lash line. Get a mirror out. To go into Potion. And I'm going to go into the color B Witch, which is that dark um, green bluish color right here with that same flat shader brush, the one I did my wing with. I'm going to go up against that, my lower lash line, just to add some definition. Definition. 
and I realized green liner would be really pretty with this look but I don't have it so and I'm going to grab my pencil brush again there we go and I'm just going to connect my inner corner highlight to the bottom just in the inner corner just a little bit just to help brighten it up a little bit more that's pretty and I'm gonna go on to my other eye and do the same exact thing I feel like with the green mixed in, it really looks like a mint green, which is actually pretty. So <laughs> I'm being weird, sorry. Um, I'm gonna apply some mascara to my bottom lash line. My, I'm gonna apply lashes. <laughs> I'm gonna apply mascara to my lower lashes. Give me one second. Okay, and I'm moving on to lips. And I'm basically doing my same combo I basically always do. I'm going to go in with my ABH lip gloss. I was going to do my... Um, like really nude um lip lipstick basically but I realized that I kind of want something more pink and I feel like that's a bit more neutral if anything neutral cool tone and the lip gloss I'm about to wear it's more pink and I feel like the pink will, will complement um the green really well so also looks like my actual natural lip color but just glossier and a little bit more pink so I really like it so and I think this is the final look I'm just gonna fix my hair do something to it I saw this look off of oops <laughs> it doesn't want to sit down this one they could look nice Oh, that's so cute. Okay. <laughs> I saw, um, who was it? My, uh, The Chic Natural on YouTube. Um, I saw her do this look and everything. And I'm like, my hair basically looks like that anyway. So let me just try and do this look. Um, but this is basically the final look. A little green eyeshadow look. Something still simple, but a little extra because of the color and everything. And once again, I did use the Koki Cosmetics Pure Magic palette and just use basically these three shades. Yeah, just the um, cast shade, potion, and bewitch to achieve this look. Obviously, lashes. Oh, and also, sorry, mystic. So I so I used um potion, cast, bewitch, and mystic to achieve this look. Very simple. You can do it, do it um any way you want to. But if you're like me, like a natural look still, but still look a little extra glam, this will be perfect for you. So I hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.